Hi everyone. Welcome to GTech Techno Solution Private Limited. Today we are going to discuss about the blood and the blood vessels in a human circulatory system. So these are the topics that we are going to cover in this session. We are going to study about the blood and the blood elements such as erythrocytes, thrombocytes, leukocytes, plasma. And then we'll be studying about the blood vessels and the network of tubes which includes the arteries, capillaries and veins. We'll be discussing about the path of the blood in a human circulatory system. So let us see what is meant by blood. Your blood is composed of the elements such as erythrocytes, thrombocytes, and leukocytes and plasma. So we are going to see about the erythrocytes. Your erythrocyte is nothing but the red blood cells or abbreviated in short as RBC. Your red blood cells carry hemoglobin and oxygen to the various parts of the body and they do not have a nucleus. They live only about 120 days. And they have a characteristic of not repairing themselves. They cannot repair themselves. You can see over here the red blood corpuscles which are erythrocytes. The next element that your blood has is the leukocytes which are the white blood cells. The white blood cells helps in fighting the infections or any other antibodies that are entering into the blood. And the white blood cells are formed in the bone marrow. So here you can see that you have the RBCs that is your red blood cells and the white blood cells which are present in the plasma. Here you are able to see the white blood cell and how it attacks the bacteria that has entered the blood. There are five types in your leukocytes which includes the neutrophils, the lymphocytes, the eosinophils, the basophils and monocytes. So these are the five types of the leukocytes. Next we have the thrombocytes which are the platelets and these are cell fragment and that are formed in the bone marrow from megakaryocytes. So these are the thrombocytes or the platelets and their function is to clot the blood by sticking together via protein fibers called as fibrin. So this is how the platelets help in clotting of the blood. Next we have the plasma. Plasma is the liquid portion of the blood and it contains the clotting factors or hormones, antibodies, dissolved gases, nutrients and waste. So this is what the plasma is made up of. Your plasma contains the factors of hormones, antibodies which helps the blood in transportation of the nutrients and dissolved gases to various parts of the body. Next we are going to study about the blood vessels which are a network of tubes. There are arteries and capillaries. Arteries or atrioles move away from the heart and they are elastic fibers which are made up of circular and smooth muscles. 
your capillaries are where the gas exchange takes place and they are very thin they are just one cell thick and they serve in the respiratory system where the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide is done next we are going to study about the veins veins or venules move away from the organs towards the heart so your veins always lead towards the heart the skeletal muscles contract to force the blood back from legs when they break varicose veins form so your veins are controlled by the skeletal muscles to contract to force blood back from the legs so this shows the exact structure of the arteries and the veins your artery has the layers of connective tissue outside inside which it is made up of the smooth muscle and the inner lining is the endothelium similarly for your vein it has connective tissue smooth muscle and endothelium in your artery it moves away from the heart hence it carries the pure blood away from the heart towards the organs whereas in your vein it carries out the impure blood and it carries towards the heart for purification hence it carries the impure blood towards the heart your artery is branched into arterioles and your vein is branched into venules and these are connected by small one cell thick tubules which is known as the capillaries your capillaries are having their inner lining to be the endothelium and the basement membrane so this is how the blood vessels are arranged as network of tubes in a human system next we are going to see the pathway of the blood so how does the blood circulate through the heart initially the blood enters into the heart that is your impure blood enters into the heart through the superior vena cava into the right atrium and through the tricuspid valve it enters into the right ventricle from which it is pumped into the pulmonary artery through the pulmonary valve over here it enters into the pulmonary artery which is connected to the lungs and in your lungs the purification process is done for the impure blood and the purified blood comes through the pulmonary vein into the left atrium so here you have the pulmonary veins through which the purified blood enters so the purified blood enters the left atrium and through the mitral valve it enters the left ventricle so this mitral valve is also known as bicuspid valve and after entering the left ventricle the purified blood 
enters into the aortic semilunar valve which you can find over here and it is pumped from the left ventricle into the aortic semilunar valve into the aorta and from the aorta the pure blood is transported to the body organs and cells so this is how the blood enters and travels through the heart and lungs in a circulatory system thank you so much for joining gtech hope you would have found this tutorial useful thank you